Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are taking a look at your soulmate lover reading for October 2021. And we are going to do a different little spin to it. Taking a look at who has been interfering in your love and romance life that is about to get extracted because the universe is tired of them. So... Um, we're going to start with the zodiac sign of Taurus and then go through all 12 zodiac signs and end with Aries. So feel free to watch all of the zodiac signs that you have significant placements of in your own personal birth chart. And we are going to look at these individuals that have been interfering, not just in this lifetime, but these are excessively stalker, obsessive, compulsive energies that have been jumping timelines and following you lifetime after lifetime so that was the whole purpose of um, me doing this reading because it came to me um, in a message that the universe is going to extract these energies because they haven't learned their lesson they've had more than enough opportunities to get it right to move forward to focus on themselves and they have their own life and life purposes that they have been neglecting to do but they have been very hell-bent essentially on obsessively interfering and intervening in your love life so we are not going to so much necessarily focus on the why they're doing this because at this point in time um you know the universe has spoken it is what it is like they're going to get extracted it's more so to just confirm um, for those of you who already have had suspicions about certain individuals or for those of you who are not even aware that this may have been going on um and why you know you have been having issues in your love and romance life so starting with taurus we have the ten of pentacles and so what I'm getting from this Taurus is that you have um, several family members. This could be 10 or more family members or friends or people who you look at like family, people who you've been around and had long lasting, long standing relationships with. For some of you, you may have had relationships 10 plus years with some of these individuals, but more so the energy that I'm seeing that is sticking out to me is that there's a level of loyalty that you have towards these individuals. So your loyalty towards these individuals may have had you turn a blind eye to certain things and allow individuals to get away with certain things that um you are well aware that has been negatively impacting your love and romance life but because i feel these individuals play on the fact that you are so loyal and the fact that you just you know willingly choose to turn a blind eye to this this is why um but for others of you, I did hear behind the scenes. So some of you have had um, family members or friends or, you know, close associates to you that you've been very loyal to um, behind the scenes for years, you know, negatively interfering and intervening in your love and romance life that you weren't even aware of. OK. Oh, and also with the Ten of Pentacles, um, it could potentially mean as well, too, that it could be another earth sign or someone who holds earth uh sign placements in their birth chart so virgo capricorn taurus energies moving on we have gemini so gemini we have the devil card coming up um so for some of you this is an individual who you may have some type of uh, restraining order against or you've been through um some type of like legal ramifications with this individual because it almost seems like this person just does not get the point that you don't want to deal with them um and it's almost like they are just persistent and will not leave you alone so for some of you you already know who this is and this person has just been very um like a pest and very hard for you to get rid of because this person has essentially made it their target and their mission to ruin your love life okay they are never going to, in their mind, how they see it, um, allow you to just move on and be happy. For others of you, this could be someone who you still are very much closely, um, I'm hearing related to or just closely associated to that you're not even aware that this person has been a negative influence in your love and romance life. Okay, so this could be someone who you're around who has um, low vibrational energy or just toxic um, behaviors and traits that is negatively rubbing off on you, which is in return negatively affecting your love and romance life okay now next we're taking a look at cancer so we have the prince of pentacles coming up so this could be a virgo individual um or someone who holds the energy of uh 
earth in their birth chart with virgo capricorn or taurus but what i am seeing with this individual's energy this could be someone who you are romantically or sexually linked to and it feels like this individual is committed and in a relationship so i'm hearing non-committal this person is not able to fully commit to you for some of you because they are in a relationship but nonetheless i'm getting a stringing along bread crumbing type of energy i was also getting the image of like someone dangling a carrot over a string on, on a string over your head um and i also was getting the yo-yo effect so with all of these energies coming through it's almost like someone is like the puppet master or someone is very much aware that they hold willed some type of control over you now this could be f maybe for some of you because you rely on this individual and they give you money or you like the fact that this person likes to you know give you gifts or it's something that this person provides or gives to you that um keeps you coming back for more or that this person knows how to like play on your um like on your on your needs you know what i'm saying i feel like with the pentacles energy is, is some type of need that you have and this person knows how to play on it so even if it was a situation like where let's say you two would break up or you felt like you were done with this individual you would always find your way going back to this person as soon as they pop up because they know how to do something to get you reeled right back in so this is either through food this is through sex um for a lot of you this could be some type of monetary um basis that this individual knows how to play on you and get you coming back to them but i don't feel like they ever let you go i don't feel like the two of you ever fully separate or detach from each other i feel like there's still some type of connection that is invisibly there even if you say that you're not with this individual so i just kind of feel like yeah this person knows how to play on your your practical needs um your ma your material needs um and keep you exactly where they want you even if it means that they're not going to give you the title that you want or commit to you in the manner that you want whether they're in a relationship or not um next we have leo so leo we have the princess of wands energy so for some of you you could be dealing with another fire sign individual it could be someone who holds the energy and placements in their birth chart of aries leo and sagittarius so for some of you this definitely i'm getting sibling energy i'm hearing sibling rivalry so for some of you um this could be someone who you are in competition with okay or someone who comp competes with you um but this also could be a situation where it could be your love interest um sibling who is blocking this uh connection and interfering in this connection because i feel like whoever the sibling is um there's something with attention okay so if it's a, a if it's your love interest sibling then it's like your love interest sibling requires a lot of attention or your love interest loves to just shower their sibling with a lot of attention um so that kind of gets in the way of the relationship for others of you this this may be a, a relationship where either you have some type of civil sibling rivalry on your half i guess like more in your mind like it's in your head like you're competing with someone and they're not competing with you or it could be vice versa they could be competing with you and you're not competing with them um and then for others of you, I'm also seeing as well, too, it could be someone who you're actually with, who is very either young or young minded and very immature. So they have a very um, non-committal energy and they just kind of like to do what they want and just kind of play the field and just not really settle down. Um, yeah, type of energy. So it's it's almost someone where it's like they're not giving you the monogamous relationship that maybe some of you want or they don't give you the attention that you want this could be someone who also just likes to have a lot of attention on them so with you being a leo and you're dating someone with this energy as well too it's um yeah this person could require a lot of um attention on them so this could entail that this individual goes and seeks attention from lots of other people to get this okay um virgo next we have the ace of pentacles so it may be another earth sign individual capricorn taurus or virgo capricorn taurus virgo i'm hearing libra it could be a libra um it also may be a scorpio individual or they may hold these um, placements in their birth chart i'm seeing for some of you it could be a child of yours so this could be an adult child that some of you have where you put this child on a pedestal and this child plays on 
the fact of being kind of like held on a pedestal so maybe for some of you like maybe this is like your only child right um so this only child plays on the fact that like you dote on them you hold them in high esteem high regard and um they could have their own life have their own family but it's like they don't want you to move on and have your own life because they like being um showered with your uh, monetary gifts is what i'm seeing now for others of you this could be someone who sees you as a sponsor a sugar daddy or a sugar mama so this could be a situation where you are you know splurging and sponsoring someone's lifestyle and that is interfering with you having um, a relationship and not getting a, a commitment because you're focused on individuals where you're not really getting love you you know you're just essentially someone's taking advantage of you put it like that and, and they know they're taking advantage of you and then for others of you this could be friends okay so this could be friends of yours i see some of you put your friends on a pedestal and your friends know that you love to like buy them gifts or you like to you know always give them money if they need money or something like that so for some of you you could really prioritize and put um high value on investing into your friends and they kind of play on this aspect okay and with that being said they wouldn't th want you to have a romantic partner or a love interest because then they would not be able to get put on that pedestal um anymore so those are the individuals next we have libra libra we have the world card here um i feel like for some of you it is several individuals um the world card energy could be talking about someone who may hold um, some very strong saturn placements um they also may have significant placements of scorpio um aquarius taurus leo in their birth chart mm -hmm. And then um, what I feel like with the world card here is that some of you have um, realized that you have learned the lesson of who this person is, what they were meant to teach you. And I feel like even after all these lifetimes now, you finally have learned the lesson and you're more open, receptive to freeing yourself and moving on from this connection. So um, as far as the other zodiac signs prior to you coming up, you seem to be the only zodiac sign so far that has like actually learned the lesson and have come to an energy of acceptance that like the role that whoever these people are who are being let go of need to go out of your life so you can have the type of love that you want so you seem to at least be in agreement with the universe that whoever these people are need to go so there's some type of maturing that you have done um who do we have next scorpio so scorpio we have the four of pentacles energy coming up now scorpio with your energy i'm seeing it kind of twofold um in some instances i'm definitely just picking up a codependent energy so it could be um going both ways between yourself and whoever these individuals are in your life uh, which could be individuals who hold significant placements of earth in their birth chart virgo taurus capricorn um but i'm seeing codependency energy so it could be that you are in codependency relationships with other individuals and the two of you are codependent on each other and you're stagnating each other's growth um as well as it could just be one-sided where you some of you are intentionally trying to hold someone back okay or you could be holding several people back but I, i'm seeing you holding um people back um intentionally because of your codependency nature and you're doing this intentionally and then for others of you you are not aware that the, um that you have this codependency characteristics and traits and you've been un unintentionally doing this for those of you where you are well aware and you are intentionally um interfering and intervening in other individuals lives your uh finances and your health are being negatively impacted and you are well aware of this but yet you keep continuing to hold on and do this others of you where you have unintentionally been doing this because you weren't aware that you were being codependent um i feel like that's the reason why your life has been at a block um and stand still and there hasn't been the progress in your life that you have um been looking for because you, some of you have been unaware that this has been going on and like i said i feel like it's twofold so for some of you it's mutual between you and whoever these other people are and for others of you it's just you you are the one who is uh being codependent in this situation and 
uh, interfering in other individuals love and romance life which is negatively impacting your health your finances and other areas of your life as well as your own love and romance life now moving on to Sagittarius we have the nine of swords so for some of you this could be several individuals who who are air signs or they hold air sign placements Libra Gemini Capricorn Ooh. Hold on, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in their birth chart. It could be a Capricorn and I was also hearing Cancer. So you have several individuals where they wake up, they eat breakfast, they eat lunch, they go to school, they go to work, they go to sleep and you are on their mind. So for whatever reason, you have a lot of people who um, is just very obsessed with your love and romance life. I feel like if the devil card had not already come up for gemini that this probably would have been the energy that would have come up for you as well too where i see that you have a lot of individuals who are codependent on your energy and just seem to be very pressed about you having love and romance in your life um yeah because i just feel like morning noon and night these individuals are constantly thinking about you it's like they can't cope and go through the day without thinking about you and who you're with and who is with you and who you're talking to so you have a lot of um yeah people up in their heads thinking and obsessing about who and what is going on in your love and romance life moving on we have capricorn so um we have the three of swords coming up so capricorn this could be air sign placement individuals um or they may hold these placements in their birth chart so um, it could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini individuals. But what I'm seeing is with the Three of Swords here, this could be a group of individuals for some of you. It could be a group of people who just don't like you. So it could be a group of people who may, maybe they look at themselves as you being a mutual um, enemy or a mutual person who they don't like. So they're trying to, um, they're, they formed some type of, you know, little hate group to mess up your love and romance life um or this could be a group of like scorned lovers or scorned exes that have linked up together to um try to sabotage your love and romance life okay um i'm also just seeing it could be just friends as well too that are just negatively impacting you so i just feel like you could have several different little cliques and groups of individuals that are like grouping up to try to negatively um, interfere and intervene in your love and romance life. Um, next, we have Aquarius. Aquarius, we have the three of wands here. So for some of you, it could be individuals who hold significant placements of fire in their birth chart. So uh, um, I'm hearing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then also Aquarius. So you could have another Aquarius or someone with Aquarius in their birth chart. Um, what I'm picking up most prevalently is the fact that there is distance energy. So for a lot of you, you have like random weirdo people who are heavily invested in um, trying to stay like 10 steps ahead of you to prevent you from going towards someone or prevent someone coming towards you so for a lot of you these are people who you don't even know um people who you've never met people who have never met you a day in their life and they're heavily invested in trying to sabotage and interfere and intervene in your relationship um i'm also a seen as well too this could definitely just be people who you just have um cut off so in the sense like where you're not having sex with these individuals anymore is really big coming up or it's just like people who you're not giving your energy to anymore so maybe people who you once used to entertain in some form or fashion um whether it's platonically or romantically sexually whatever this is um i just feel people who you're no longer investing and giving energy to and you've distanced yourself from um i feel like it's it's uh you know several individuals who have a invested interest in watching and seeing who's coming and going into your life and trying to stay 10 steps ahead of you to try to intervene in your love and romance life now i'm also seeing as well too for some of you uh, aquarius individuals that um these individuals are negatively interfering and intervening with your ability to communicate with your love interest or with someone who you want to go towards or potentially someone who is coming towards you so next we're going to pisces pisces we have the lovers card okay 
Okay, so Pisces, what I'm picking up for some of you, this definitely is giving me strong Gemini energy. So some of you could have um, a Gemini who is strongly invested in interfering in your love and romance life. For some of you, um, whoever this person is, they're either having sex with your partner or they're trying to entice your partner to have sex with them is what I'm picking up. Um, so it's definitely giving me like a mistress energy, a mistress vibe, someone who's trying to get at your partner. I feel like this is someone who knowingly knows that you are in a relationship for those of you where that applies to, um, or someone who knowingly knows whoever it's almost like, okay, this is what it is for some of you. You have an actual relationship that you're committed in, um, whatever that title is that you have. And there's someone who is knowingly sleeping with your partner and they know that you're with they know that y'all together okay now for others of you you have someone who's trying to entice your partner okay so this could be someone who your partner has already had sex with or just someone who your partner is attracted to okay um and then for others of you i feel like whoever this person is or these people are it's like whoever you're with this person or these people want to be with your person so it's almost like it doesn't even really matter who your person is like they're going to try to like sleep with your person is what i'm getting i'm getting this example okay <laughs> so whoever this applies to it applies to so say for instance you're like okay you used to date a certain type of dude and then people would you know come after your dude and you're like okay well i'm not gonna date that type of dude anymore i'm gonna date a different type of dude or a different type of person, you know what I'm saying? And then that way you feel like you're going to secure someone who other people are not going to be interested in. So I'm going to just be honest. I'm a, I was getting the, the example coming through that some of you were like, okay, I'm going to start dating. Okay, let me, let me phrase it differently. Some of you have decided in your mind that you were going to start dating like people who you feel are ugly intentionally because you feel like if you date someone ugly then that is less of a chance of someone trying to essentially steal your partner from you or that like you won't have to deal with a mister or a mistress that's what i'm getting but i feel whoever these energies are they don't care like they just want whoever you have slept with because they want your partner that, so that's what it is so it don't matter if you try to go and get like the ugliest person in the world like wh whoever whoever this person is or whoever these people are they are still going to want to sleep with that person you can go get the the, the dirtiest person you can go get like the brokest person you can go get the ugliest person like it does not matter like whoever you are with this person or these people are going to want that person okay so yeah moving on and last we have aries so we have the princess of cups so for some of you this could be um individuals with significant placements of cancer scorpio or pisces in their birth chart okay aries so with the prince of cups energy it's a few different scenarios coming through so for some of y'all y'all got a f person who y'all think is y'all friend basically who essentially they either want your man or they just want any man that you're with so there's someone under the guise of a friend you may know who this person is you may not um but yeah they like your man or they like your woman okay for others of you this is someone who you've put in a friend zone and yeah that, this is the person that's interfering in your love and romance life because they want to be with you okay for others of you I'm getting like someone on social media okay so it could be because the pictures that you post on social media someone is like wanting to take your place they want your man they want your woman um and for others of y'all your man or your woman has been entertaining someone popping up in someone's dms okay yeah and that's what's negatively interfering with your love and romance like because it's your whole partner out here um entertaining someone making someone feel special okay mm -hmm. that's that though all right have a nice day y'all